Good evening, folks. We're going to do a uh, soap review this evening. Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. This is the um, upcoming limited edition soap uh, by Dr. John's. Um, it's currently available in the soap only right now at maggards.com. The matching splash and EDT have sold out, but it will be uh, widely available on June 1st. Uh, through Dr. John's website as well as uh, other third-party retailers. Uh, if you'll recall, I used Dr. John's Volume 2 formula um, I don't know, six, eight weeks ago, and I was uh, mighty impressed with uh, John and Kim's, you know, updated formula. So this one is uh, probably not going to surprise me in terms of performance, but I think what we'll focus on today is the, uh, the scent of this. With uh, the soap, we'll be using my Scottish Razor TSM Custom Straight Razor. We'll be lathering up here with the uh, Wolf Whiskers. I'm calling this the Raptor in Poseidon's Layer. It's got a 28 millimeter uh, black magnet. And we'll uh, finish with Dr. John's Flower in the Dark matching aftershave splash. So bear with me a moment. I'm going to uh, load the brush. We'll come back and we'll talk about the scent. All right, as you can see, their uh, 30 second load is going to be plenty, if not too much. So scent on flowers in the dark. Um, many of you know it's a lavender forward scent. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that this lavender that John selected is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the nicest lavenders standalone that I can think of. Um, it's it's sharp and punchy, but it's still very uh, you know it it doesn't smell synthetic or anything. It still smells very natural. The uh, other notes in this scent are coffinwood and ozone and. While it's a lavender forward scent, the uh, coffinwood and ozone both play a uh, really intense role in this uh, accord. It becomes, after that initial lavender punch, you start to get some of that dark coffinwood, that deep woodiness, and then the ozone kind of rounds out the scent. The uh, the entire scent is very dark and chilling. Um, I can see where the uh, the name was uh, derived. The scent strength on this soap is mid strong, both out of the uh, metal tin and once you've lathered it on your uh, face or in your bowl. The, um, there's a lot of lavender and wood based scents and this really stands apart I think because of that additional ozone quality but if I had to uh, you know gun to my head give some comparables I'd suggest that um, the crown and crane Lavender cedar would be close and uh, as would the uh, LA Shave Company Woody Lavender. So let me get finished lathering up here off camera and we'll come back and we'll briefly talk about performance. All right, let's get this uh, show on the road here. So the performance, as you'll recall from my video a few weeks ago, is a market improvement over Dr. John's original formula and if you're strictly into the uh, vegan soap offerings you will find this to be in the top two or three um, vegan only soaps in the entire market. If I had to apply some metrics to it, I would uh, say that the uh, cushion and density on this 
soap is great the uh, slickness is good and the uh, hose shave is also good the comparable soaps that come to mind in terms of performance for me are uh, Turtle Ship as well as uh, Chiseled Face Grumatorium. I'm going to finish the shave here off camera. We'll come back and have some uh, final thoughts. All right, let's get some of this uh, aftershave on. I believe this is my uh, first ever go with Dr. John's aftershave. I've reviewed plenty of the soaps, but oh, it's beautiful. The scent on this is nearly a dead ringer for the uh, soap. Wow, that's good. Feels nice on the skin too. All right, so what are we gonna say? Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. I'm excited about this. I think uh, a lot of the lavender heads are gonna really appreciate that, the uniqueness of this and the interpretation of the lavender with the coffin wood. A uh, Facebooker, recently posted his uh, shave of the day and uh, was using uh, flowers in the dark and called this the early candidate for scent of the year. Um, I can't disagree. I mean, in my opinion, it's certainly in the conversation with the uh, Talbot shaving Hall and Glen and uh, Katie's Bubbles Tonsorium is my uh, favorite new scent so far. This is just good stuff so if you only want the soap grab it off of maggards now before it sells out um if you want to wait for the uh, whole kit it'll be on sale uh what's june 1st is thursday i think it's uh it's definitely june 1st i think it's this coming thursday so we're about 45 subscribers away from a thousand folks um i've already started thinking about what to uh provide for giveaways you know in appreciation of the uh, continued support by the community. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. If uh, you got a friend that watches and isn't subscribed, give him a nudge and uh, we'll talk to you soon.